And welcome to a brand new week of Capital Talk, a program we hope will have an impact on the future of Kenya. Now, more than ever, I'm Jeff Kunenga. Now, brand new week, meaning a brand new theme. And this week, we're calling it The Visitors, people coming into town. And I tell you, when you see these folks, especially my guest today, you will appreciate these folks coming to town. You all know her. Everyone's been talking about her. She's huge in Nollywood. Everybody knows this young lady because she's been in over a hundred movies in her short career of a dozen years so far. She says she was born to do this. Way when she was young, she was in drama, acting, singing, playing, you name it. And when Nollywood came calling, she just took it and ran with it. Most memorable movies, White Water, Rita's Song. What's the other one? Sadie's Song. Sadie's Song. <laughs> And another one, more and more movies. You must know who I'm talking about because she's huge. All over this, at the Norfolk, everyone's stopping her, wants to take pictures with her. Sit back and listen to Rita Dominic. <laughs> Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. You're huge. I mean, you're huge. You're, you're a big celeb. Yeah, well, <laughs> hard work, I guess. <laughs> Did you think coming to Nairobi, mm. you know, Nairobi, yeah. that everybody would be coming up to you, wanting to take pictures, wanting to say, hey Rita, how you doing? Did you think? Um, first and foremost, like I have social network sites where mm -hmm. I communicate with these people, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, so I have some fans from here, mm -hmm. you know, but you know, it's actually amazing when you now get in mm -hmm. and actually realize and see a lot of people want to talk to you, a lot of people want to say hello to you, yeah. it's like amazing and it's, yeah, it's interesting. Doesn't it, yeah, it shows the power of I guess that medium that you're in, film as a medium, yeah. it's huge. I mean, people used to laugh at Nollywood back then. Yeah. Now no one's laughing except you all the way to the bank. <laughs> oh, well, if you put it that way. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we've, we've come of age, you know. I mean, the industry is quite young, you know, but I feel we've achieved a lot in such a short time, you know, and considering the country where the country that has produced Nollywood, you know, I feel we've achieved a lot. And what I feel is going for us is that our stories are very, um, they're the simple stories that the layman, the common man can relate to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, your neighbor is doing the same thing. Yeah. You are doing the same thing. You can relate to it. It's just simple drama. Yeah. And that's, I feel that's why it's grown, you know, it's grown so huge in such a short period. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and that simple drama, whether it's in Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa or Kenya, yeah. it's the same story. Yes, exactly. We're Africans. We, you know, we can relate to, to things that happen around us the same way. Mm. You know, tradition, yeah. culture. Yeah. yeah, just maybe different uh, little similarities here and there. But it's basically the same thing, and we can all relate to it. And hopefully, you know, in the future, we'll all come together as one. Did you think one day that you will be such a big star, Rita? Did you think growing up? I know you were in drama from day yeah. one, and you loved acting, <laughs> and you loved the stage. Yeah. Did you think? Um, okay, let me put it this way. I, I, I just loved doing it. I just had the passion for, for, for acting. You know, every other thing that came with it, the fame, the uh, whatever, you know, everything, I'll put it, I'll say secondary. Jensen, because for me, I had a passion for the arts. I wanted to act. I wanted to uh, send messages across to people through this craft. And over the years, I thank God for the benefits that, you know, come with it. So yeah. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. yeah. Was it difficult breaking into Nollywood? In, in the uh, beginning? For me, it wasn't difficult. Okay. When I finished school, I studied theatre arts in University of Potakot, by the way. Um, a, a colleague of mine from school who had been in the industry, you know, he was years ahead of me anyway in school. He was my senior in school. So when I finished school, youth service, went to, came to Lagos, moved to Lagos to pursue my acting career. I ran into him. His name is Baso Enetaria, mm -hmm. popularly known as Basoj. He's a comedian. Okay. And oh, he, he, we ran into each other and he said to me, oh, I want to do this movie and I want to use a new face. I actually thought he was joking. We exchanged details. Two weeks after that, he contacted me and that's how I shot my first movie, you know, and then from then on, I did my second movie and gradually you know today so, so for you it wasn't as difficult as others huh uh, no it, was, yeah. it wasn't difficult because you were ready for the stage yeah i was ready for the stage and luck maybe luckily for me because i studied theater already mm -hmm. i already knew some people in the industry mm -hmm. who were working in the industry that went to school yeah. with me that started the same course with me yeah. in university yeah. so yeah you know but in the course of my career you know i had ups and downs as well sure. you know of course sure. i mean sometimes whereby you want to play certain roles and i want to give it to somebody else so yeah challenges like that yeah. but for me you keep striving you keep working hard you keep you know so that's uh, that's my story. When someone come up, comes up to you, Rita, and they say, 
oh man, I loved you in Sadie's song, or yeah. I loved you in White Water. I, yeah. I, wh how does that make you feel? It just, it makes me feel really good. You know, it makes me feel that all the hard work, you know, it pays off, that people, are, they really appreciate it. You know, it's like a pat on the back, like, mm. okay, that means I'm doing something good. People are learning from this thing. So, hey, I'm going to keep doing this. So it's, it feels very good. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nigerian movies are being recognized more and more. Yeah. And obviously, you know, whether you're in London or New York or Toronto, wherever, Nollywood is huge, yeah. right? Yes. Are you surprised sometimes at the amount of people who know you, amount of popularity that there is out there? Yeah, I, I um, well, yes, <laughs> because you can never be too sure, mm -hmm. you know. So everywhere I go, I don't take things for granted, you know. And when I meet people from even sometimes in the Caribbeans, you know, our movies, they love watching Nollywood movies mm -hmm. in Africa. Yeah. And then some some foreigners as well who have who are friends with Africans have been introduced to Nollywood movies, you know. So when they say hello to me, I'm like, OK, hello, <laughs> you know, but it feels good. They I know mean, who you are. Exactly. It shows that. <laughs> we're doing something right you know yeah it shows we're doing something right yeah. so. kenyans are hooked i'll tell you that yeah kenyans are hooked <laughs> oh that's good yeah. that's, that's good your most memorable movie ha huh, my most memorable movie hmm. was Which it sadie's now? uh was it sadie's song or is it all my life or is it all i have <laughs> or is it uh huh, which one now there's so many really. Yeah. I hold most of them very close to my heart because I said like different roles I find very challenging, you know, I find it very interesting to play in the first place, you know. So the uh, but the one the one thing, the one movie I'll say that I'm really um particular about now is the movie we're about to produce. Hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, tell me about it. It's uh, called 5 Days in Abuja, um written by Tunde Babalola. Um we're producing myself and my 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 co uh, my partner mm. will own this company called the Aud Audrey Silver Production Company, okay. named after Audrey Hepburn yeah. and Joker Silver. Joker Silver is like the icon in yes, Nollywood, yes. exactly. So uh, Audrey Silver, yes, nice. the Audrey Silver Production Company. Yes. So we're set to start filming in November, and I'm really excited about becoming a producer for the first time. Mm. <laughs> you know, so are you going to produce and act in it? Yeah. Wow. But I'm not playing the lead role. Okay. I'm just playing the sub lead role because mm -hmm. I have to work on it as well, you know. And then um, my 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 partner, she's directing and producing. Yeah. So uh, she she's uh, she directed a movie titled Thirty Days. So this is going to be her second as well. She's very talented, yeah. you know. So yeah. that's what we're working on, and that's uh, the project that's so close to my heart or dear to my heart right now. Yeah. Your partner must like days, you know, thirty days. And now <laughs> five, five days. days. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Exactly. There's something about days. I should ask her. Yeah, you should. Hmm, I'll ask her. Why five days in Abuja? I mean, it, it, it. Uh, it's it's well. That's actually what the writer titled it. You know, um, it's a simple, yeah. like a romantic comedy. Mm. You know, drama. Very interesting. You know, just straight to the point, but intriguing, yeah. interesting. Yeah. You know, how, yeah. So you're taking your talents to the next level now. I mean, obviously you're going to produce this, yeah. and if you do love it, you'll probably be producing more movies. I it will. Is. I will be producing more movies. Yeah. I will be producing. Is more that what movies. you want to do? Yeah, I want to. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I want to become a producer and still be acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. Uh, what about the next level? Everyone talks about Nigerian actors and actresses going to that next level. And we've had a whole host of amazing Nigerian actors mm -hmm. on the Hollywood stage. I mean, yeah. uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, mm -hmm. uh, who was the... Yeah, the, the Sophie yeah, Okonedo. Sophie Okonedo. There's so many, I mean, yeah, there's a few of them. And they're yeah. good too. Yeah, they're, they're very good. Uh, okay, this is what it is for me. The, the Why we formed this company is to try and improve the quality of our movies to be able to cut across internationally. You know, so it's like um, what's going on in Nollywood right now is like um, a new Nollywood is emerging, and these are people, producers or directors. These are people who are uh, uh, who have more knowledge about movie making, who want to take it, you know, like improve the quality. Yeah. So that's why we formed this company to try and raise the stakes, to try and improve the quality of our movies, so that this can this movies can cut across internationally, mm -hmm. and people can hear our stories and sit down comfortably and watch. Do you understand if it's well produced? So that's um, that's the idea. That's yeah. what we're trying to do, and yeah. help the no and help Nollywood grow too. Yeah, and you know, look, Nollywood has come a long way. There was a time when you couldn't bear to watch those movies because <laughs> it was such horrible quality. Yeah, well, but now, yeah. I mean, what you're saying now, yeah, yeah. the quality has improved, improved, and people yeah. are watching and they're hooked. So can you take it to that next level? Can you compete with the best of the best out there? Uh, well, we're trying. Well, that's what we're trying to do. You know, um, for me, I feel uh, the future looks good. The future looks bright. Um, I mean, there was a time, like you said, people couldn't stand our movies. But today, hmm. 
they love her movies. Mm. So hopefully the next stage will be to go to the next level, which yeah. is international standards, yeah. you know, so that's what we're trying to do, you know, gradually build. Yeah. yeah so. Are you seeing the talent there, Rita, in your country? Is the talent there for producing, for mm -hmm. acting, for putting these movies together? Oh, yeah. Is it there? This is what I say. I think we're very talented because we work with very limited resources. If we're given the same resources that these people work with internationally, I think we will do very well. You know, because yeah. I mean, you have the, the actors, it's not like they're really trained. You know how you do your acting, like refresher courses in acting for, for actors in Hollywood or Europe or whatever. You yeah. know, they keep doing refresher courses. We don't have things like that. We just keep improving by ourselves. Yeah. And some of us go to, you know, read up on the internet, read up acting books or go to, sc go to school in America yeah. for courses, you know. So we don't have those things in place in Nigeria. So can imagine if we had those things in place, like, I think the sky will be the limit for us. So. Seriously? Yeah, that's Seriously. what I feel. They say they make about, what, 2,000 movies a month in Nollywood. Yeah. Is it up to? Yeah. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Are there some movies that you've made that you cannot watch? No, I watch all my movies, Do you? even though I cringe sometimes, don't I? Because I feel I'm my, myself's greatest critic, you know, because I watch something, you know, I watch a role I've played and I'm like, oh, you shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have said it that way. And I'm the only one noticing it. But other people are like, oh, that was so good. I'm like, no, 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 don't worry. I know that wasn't, I can do better. So, because I feel that way, I can improve, you know, get better. If I criticize myself more, you know, I, I, I see where I make mistakes and then I correct it, you know. Uh, yeah. In my next roles. Yeah. yeah, it looks like you're also being recognised at home as, or across the continent with, um, the, you know, the uh, Africa Movie Awards mm -hmm. AMA, yeah. which is at least it shows someone out there yeah. is recognising this talent, yes. right? Yes. Are these going well? I mean, is that going yeah, well? It's, You've it's, been nominated a couple of times. Yeah, I have. You know, well, the the, the, the AMAs is like the biggest award we have. Excuse me. Um, uh, it's it's held every year. And um, it's rec I mean, it recognizes actors from all over Africa, not just Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the K Kenyan movie won Best Movie last year, yes. and that was fantastic. Yes, I Kenyan actually, scene. yeah, I actually hosted it, and I hosted it with one of your actors here. His name is um, Jeff. Is it Jeffrey or Godfrey? Yes, I hosted the Yabas with him. Ah. Yeah, he's Kenyan. Fantastic. Yeah, you know. So um, uh, this is the fifth year. Uh, uh, next year will be the sixth year. It's recognized all over the world. I mean. Gradually, it's yeah. growing, yeah. and yeah. And it's, and it's getting more prestigious, yeah, isn't it? Yes, it's getting more and more prestigious. Like our own Oscars, almost. Yeah, well, that is our own Oscars. It's our own Oscars, yeah. you know, to, to a certain extent. Yeah. It is our own Oscars. Yeah. Rita, I want to talk more about that. And also, what happens beyond, you know, after five days in Abuja, what else do you plan to do? Also, advice. There's a lot of young actors and actresses yeah. out there, and, you know, they want to know how did this beautiful young woman get into it and stay in it, and how does one, you know, mm. keep their their sanity mm. at that level. Yeah. First, we'll take a break. Okay. Rita Dominic, my goodness, it's only Monday and the bench is just warming up. All this week, it's called The Visitors. That's our theme. Folks coming into town and we're having a little chat on the bench and Rita Dominic is up there with the best of Nollywood's best. Don't even think of going away. The bench is back in a moment. And welcome back to Capital Talk. All this week, it's all about the visitors, folks coming into town, and we're having a chat in different areas, different fields. I tell you, being a Monday, we cannot wish to start with anyone better than Hollywood's, Nollywood's finest. Rita Dominic, who's done a whole bunch of movies, in fact, close to 100. And she's a huge star. Everyone wants to talk to her here at the Norfolk. We have to beat them back. <laughs> Because they all they all want a piece of Rita Dominic. <laughs> do you feel like a celeb? Do you feel that way? Yeah, well, I I, <laughs> I don't know if I should say I do feel like yeah. a celeb. I just feel like I'm being appreciated for the mm. work I've done, mm. and it feels good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, Rita, and you know this, uh, where you are at that level, mm -hmm. you get a lot of haters as well. Oh yeah, you have to. I mean, yeah, you have to. Mm. You have to. You know, um, not everybody. You have to realize that not everybody will like you. You know, and I feel. Uh, when you get uh, uh, criticized, it, it, I feel it's good for you because it, it, it makes you want to work hard yeah. and prove to them that, listen, I'm, this is what I do and I'm still going to keep doing this. 
if you, it doesn't matter if you like me or not, this is my craft and I'm going to keep doing it. People that like me, like me. That's a good attitude, Rita, yeah. because out there, and, and you know, in Nigeria is no different, yeah. they can be wicked. Yeah, well, yeah, people can be mean, <laughs> you know, people yeah. can be mean, yeah. but um, you just have to take it all in your stride and know that, okay, you know what, not everybody has to like you, just keep doing your work and keep thanking God for the ones that like you and, you know, keep a cool head and yeah. don't keep focusing or dwelling, oh, they don't like me, what am I going to do about it? No, if you keep doing that, you're just going to fall back. You know, just take it in your stride and move on and do what you have to do. Yeah. Where do you get that from, Rita? Because there are many who have not been able to handle all that pressure, all that criticism, and they just disappear because yeah. they can't handle it. Yeah. What keeps you so strong? I guess it's being, having done this for so many years. Don't get me wrong, there was a time I had a very, um, it was so, I was so sensitive to issues mm. like this. You know, I couldn't out cry when people will say things about me or write about me, lies in the papers and all that, mm. you know, I'll cry about it. But I think over the years, I've become stronger. I mean, I've been doing this for 12 years and I've grown a thick skin, you know, and at the end of the day, if you're not important, if you're not doing what people will not talk about you. So <laughs> I had to assume that Yes. attitude yes. you know to be able to move forward and to be able to 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 do well you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. how far do you want to take this craft Rita how far do you want to be like the biggest thing in Nollywood because it's tough out there with, yeah. with lots of actors and actresses yeah. how far do you want to take it uh, for me I just want to keep doing what I know how to do uh, keep doing better jobs uh, better films you know do good as a producer do good as an actor you know, and um, just keep doing my movies, really. I, it's not about wanting to be the best in Nollywood or, you know, like want to be the top of your game or anything like that. For me, it's just about keep improving your skills, your crafts, you know, and every other thing will fall into place. Yeah. Mm. We have something here in Kenya called Riverwood. We're trying to be like Nollywood. So, yeah. you know, yeah, potential actors and actresses yeah. and a lot of young ones out there. Mm who are looking up to you now and saying, goodness, you know, she made it, she's done, been in this business a while and, you know, she's got such a great positive attitude. What do you tell them? What advice do you give them? Keep your head high, keep your head up high, believe in yourself, have a passion for the arts. Don't do it because you want to be famous or you just want to be a star. You have to have passion for the arts, believe in yourself, don't listen to what people say, just keep doing it and the sky is your limit. That's it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just like that. That's right. Yes. Yeah. And keep going forward, right? Keep going forward. Yes. Be professional. Work mm -hmm. hard, you know, regardless of what people say. Yeah. Or even when people try to advise you, you know, like, oh, don't do it. Uh, whatever. If you believe in yourself and you have real passion for the arts, you know, just keep doing your thing. And yeah, yeah the sky is the limit. That's right. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Do you film outside of Nigeria? Do you film in other locations as well? Mm -hmm. I do. I've shot in Sierra, Le Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. I've filmed in Ghana. I filmed in London. That's a Sadie yeah. song. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping to work in Kenya too. Ah, that's where I was going. <laughs> so I'm with calling this. other producers. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you know, do collaborations mm -hmm. and yeah, that's. Uh, and That's it can work, right? I mean, we have the perfect backdrop, we have the perfect scenario, yeah. perfect place. And we can relate to our stories. We can all relate to, you know, our stories, our culture. Yeah. You mentioned a good word there, collabo. Do you see the day when there will be more collabos between Nollywood and, and our wood here? Oh, oh, yes. I mean, initially, nobody thought, I mean, nobody believed that Nollywood and Gollywood, which is Ghana, mm -hmm. would ever collab, would do collabs. But right now, we're doing a lot of collabs with, with Ghana. You know, we've done collabs with Sierra Leoneans, uh, librarians, yes. uh, yeah, yeah, you know. So yeah, why not? I mean, definitely, we will do something with Kenya. I'm hoping to do something in Kenya, you know, yeah. at some point as a producer. Yeah. yeah. I asked you earlier on what was your favorite role, but uh, let me ask you this: what What are you best? What do you like the best? Is it love, uh, romantic comedy? Yeah. Is it action thriller? What, what do you like the best? It, for me, all genres. It's the character, the story. It has to be character driven. The story has to be strong. I can do any kind of genre of film or whatever, be it comedy, be it thriller, be it drama, whatever, as long as it's, the story is fantastic and I can relate to the character. Yeah. Now that you can pick and choose your scripts, mm -hmm. is that a good position to be in? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, if, yeah, because that way you can contribute to the outcome of a movie. 
you know, we can contribute as, okay, listen, I think this is how we should do this. You know, but not, I mean, it's not like taking the work out from the, well, from the director's hands. It's just like sitting down with him and reaching a, a compromise and say, okay, this is what I feel should happen in this scene. This is what I feel should happen with this character. And then you guys relate, you guys talk about it. And then, because I feel it makes for a better film. Yeah. It makes for a better script to be told. Mm. Yeah. I guess a lot of people are wondering at this point, Rita, does Nollywood pay? I mean, is, is this business you're in, yeah. is it enough for one to live comfortably uh, well. or does the one have to be to make it to the top level um, let me put it this way I I don't beg for food <laughs> I can afford basic necessities <laughs> um, however I know it's you know it's, I mean it's like that in every field in every industry if you're starting new of course you'll have to pay the price you know you have to work hard to get to the top probably when you now get to the top you can you know start um, you know being able to pay your bills I can afford you can afford to pay your bills so yeah at a point in my career too it was difficult because I was still building I was growing you know so I'm at the point whereby I don't I can feed myself so let me just leave it like that <laughs> So, very yeah. modest yeah so just uh, yeah. just just keep striving you yeah. know there's not nothing is nothing is nothing is simple in life mm. nothing is easy in life you have to work hard yeah. yeah speaking of working hard Rita do you sometimes get on a set and you just don't want to be there I mean you're so exhausted you're tired you're not into it do you feel like do you feel that way or do you always have to be in mood in the right frame of mind um, you have to find you have to find that right frame of mind because you have the job has to be done that's what I learned in school you know, the show must go on. So even if you're tired, even if what you can do is just rest for a minute and have water, drink water or your juice or whatever, but the show has to go on. You have to find, as long as you're on set already, as long as you are on set, you have to find a way to do that movie. You have to find a way to play the role. Yeah. You know, it's different if you're not on set yet and maybe you're ill or you're exhausted or you can ask for a few days off. Oh, I'm really ill or something. I just need like two days to rest. But if you're on set, if you've come on set already, then you better do the job because it has to go on. Yeah. You've come to work. Yes, so work it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. When Rita Dominic is not working, mm. what is she doing? Um, well, currently, I'm, uh, I'm a Glow ambassador. Yeah, Glow is a, it's a very large telecommunications. Yeah, exactly. So I'm a Glow ambassador. Um, sometimes I, I, I go for uh, what ambassadorial work for them. Mm -hmm. um, then Face of Nokia. I was I presented the brand Nokia N97. Mm -hmm. uh, I was representing it for about uh, six months. Uh, that just that's just over now. So I was doing that as well. Um, so basically, when I'm not working, either I'm doing stuff for Glow or I'm just busy working on my production. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And here in Kenya, you're here, for, of course, for the 50th uh, anniversary exactly, celebrations. Exactly. Yes. Are you excited about that? I am excited. Um, uh, Ambassador, uh, your His Excellency, yes, yes. Dr. Chijoke Wigwe, yes. invited me here as a special guest for the celebrations for the whole 50, you know, Nigeria 50 anniversary. And I'm really excited to be here to be a part, you know, to, to be a part of the whole celebration, to see my people here and to see Kenyans as well, you know, celebrate with them. And um, yeah, I'm excited about yeah. it. Yeah. How do you feel about your country being at? That, that land, that um, it's it's a landmark. Yes, yeah. yes, it is a yeah. landmark. I mean, but that's a golden jubilee. That's mm. it's it's great. It just shows, it shows the future is bright. I mean, we've gone, we've come this far, mm. and um, hopefully the future is bright. And we'll just keep working hard and keep trying to see what we can do. Yeah. You know, to improve certain things in the country. You know, so yeah. It looks like everything is falling into place, yes. Rita, politically, economically. Yeah. There's a whole generation of young, smart Nigerians it's coming what, back yeah, home, exactly. doing some... Exactly. Is it a great time to be in Nigeria? Yes, it is a great time to be in Nigeria. Yes, it is a great time to be in Nigeria because it's like, I mean, hey, your country celebrating, I mean, its 50th anniversary, it means a lot. You know, it means a lot to, to us as in, in individuals, uh, to the young ones. You know, it just shows that um, the sky is the limit. You can come back and help your country, whatever it is you've studied or learned from the international world, come back and invest it in, in your country and even help it to grow more. You know, so everybody's excited to, to come back home, to be a part of the celebration and see what it can do to improve um, standards or certain economic growth, whatever growth, political growth in Nigeria. So it's it's interesting. Yeah. And at the end of the day, Rita, do you find that you and, and your colleagues and your industry is helping change perceptions of what people think of Nigeria? Yes, I, th I think we are to a great extent. I mean, we're trying to, in some of our stories, we'll let them know, that, okay, this is not actually what, what you people see is not really what it is. So this is actually the true story. So that's why I said that um, one of the reasons I really wanted to act was to teach lessons 
through my craft as an actor. You know, so people can learn. Uh, people can learn certain things from the stories and people can see our countries in a positive light and see that, okay, really is not so. You know, we have these perceptions of hard. They're not actually true, you know, so yeah. Uh, I'm hoping that gradually we're doing that through our movies. Mm. Yeah. If you weren't mm. acting, if you didn't go into the, this craft, yeah. what would you have done? I would be acting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good answer. That's Good right. answer. That's right. Well done, Nita. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good to see you in Kenya. Good to see you. And happy 50th anniversary. Thank you. All Thank you so best. much. All nice right. meeting you. And you. Yeah. Rita Dominic, wow, she's hot. She is, no doubt, why lie? She's the biggest thing in Nollywood so far right now. And she's on the bench in Kenya for the country's 50th anniversary celebrations. Happy Independence Day, Nigeria. I tell you, who better to have on the bench than Rita Dominic, who's done more than 100 movies and is now huge across Nigeria, West Africa, East Africa. They're all stopping to see her. She's hot. Rita Dominic. Tomorrow, Michaela Wrong, the author of It's Our Turn to Eat. I told you, it's going to be an explosive week. You're going to find guests like Rita anywhere else, but right here on the bench on the award winning station, K24, where we are. As always, even in times of Nollywood, we are all Kenyan. All the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs>